Well, not every book that comes out leaves hurt feelings. In fact, when Barbara Taylor Bradford writes a novel, her fans literally line up at the bookstore to buy it. On the eve of her latest romance, we went to find out what's her secret. Barbara Taylor Bradford believes great success is often born of a simple idea. I think it's a combination of storytelling, the emotion, and creating women that other women, uh, it's funny to say look up to, but, and I don't really mean that, but identify with and see as role models. That doesn't seem remarkable today, but 20 years ago, the strong character in A Woman of Substance sold 20 million copies and was later made into a television movie and made Barbara Taylor Bradford a literary star. I think I'm the first writer that really empowered women to go out and do it. The trappings of the British former journalist's success can be found in her elegant New York apartment, a place that is not only home, but also office. Here, Bradford writes her bestsellers, often beginning at 4 or 5 in the morning. You have to do it every day if you're writing a long and complicated book. You can't wait for inspiration to strike because invariably it doesn't. This time, inspiration hit in the form of a sudden change of heart, which she's currently promoting with ladies' parties around the country to benefit the March of Dimes. I wanted to tell a story about friendship between two women that started in childhood and goes through the grown-up years. Also, I wanted to write about art looted by the Nazis. Thank, Thank you. you. These events and signings are a chance for writer and fans to come together. How many books have you read? All of hers. I love the characters, the strong women characters. Three weeks on the market, a sudden change of heart has held steady in the top ten on every bestseller list in America. Barbara Taylor Bradford has close to 60 million copies of books sold. That's right. 89 countries and 39 languages. That's what surprises me, that women want to read the books in all those other languages. And see the TV movie, which many of the novels later become. Remember? I loved Remember because I thought that that was such an action-filled movie. A woman of substance. One day I mean to be a lady. That was my first, and it was beautifully done. And to be the best. Which was a sequel to A Woman of Substance, which starred Tony Hopkins and Lindsay Wagner. The films are produced by Barbara's husband, Bob, a movie producer long before they married. Childless, her dogs and her books are their offspring each one dedicated to Bob. And just as some husbands do when their wives give birth, the birth of a book usually means Bob buys a gift. These pearls came after The Power of a Woman was published. And now that a sudden change of heart has hit store shelves, Barbara's waiting. You're still looking forward for something. Well, it's become a tradition. And he wouldn't want to break it, would he? No, he wouldn't. <laughs> Not if he knows what's good for him. <laughs> That's right. Barbara's already working on her next novel. It's about a female journalist in Kosovo. Talk about timely. And it's called Where You Belong.